Well, today is Jackie Robinson Day. It marks Robinson's 1947 Major League Baseball debut for the Brooklyn Dodgers, where he broke the color barrier. He was the first ever black Major League Baseball player. A special celebration was held in New York's Times Square. West 42nd Street was named Jackie Robinson Way. Several former baseball greats were there, along with Robinson's granddaughter, who says 75 years later, his legacy continues to make a difference. We will continue to move forward um, through the Jackie Robinson Foundation, through our family and our own legacy to ensure that the children and the next generation understand the commitment, the sacrifice he made to social change. Major League Baseball retired Robinson's jersey, number 42, league-wide in 1997. Jackie Robinson Day was established in 2004. Well, here at home, the Dodgers are also paying tribute to the legendary Hall of Famer. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Pasadena with the story, Tina. Good morning, Leslie. This is actually where Jackie Robinson went to high school. So the Dodgers made sure that when every student came here today, they got this special hat with number 42 on it. And in a short while, Mookie Betts is going to be here with the Robinson family, unveiling a special mural in the legend's honor. The family has been visiting several schools today. Here's what they did in, at an earlier school this morning. I love playing everything, baseball, basketball, football, soccer. That's Dodgers pitcher David Price reading to students at Longfellow Elementary School. They read I Am Jackie Robinson, a children's book that explains the challenges that Robinson faced when he became the first black player in Major League Baseball. Each student got a copy of the book to take home. Robinson's family hopes the story teaches them about the strength and perseverance that was necessary for Robinson to succeed, but also about how what he did on the field helped change our country in other ways. Jackie Robinson's son, David, also hopes students are inspired to do their part to make race relations even better for future generations. Can you imagine 75 years ago, black people were not allowed into the pride? They were refused just because of the color of their skin. It's important for us to educate our young people in order to grow Jackie's legacy, in order to grow black participation in the game. Um, if you don't know, you don't show. If there's rep representation is not there, I use myself as a living example every single day. I'm not on the field, but I work in baseball, and as a black woman executive, I think it's really important for young women to see me and to know that this is possible. Matt Dodgers executive actually got a scholarship from the Jackie Robinson Foundation when she was younger. So now she says it's her mission to make sure that his legacy lives on. Leslie, when the family is done with the mural here, they're actually going to head to Dodger Stadium. They're going to meet with all the players, take part in pregame festivities. And of course, our sports team is going to be there covering all of that. They'll have coverage coming up later uh, throughout the day. We'll send it back to you. Just a big day, not only for the L.A. Dodger community, but really baseball across the country. Thanks so much, Tina.